Assalamualaikum Today I'm going to talk about a band pass filter A band pass filter passes all the frequencies between two critical frequency We have a FC1, the low critical frequency and FC2, the high critical frequency The difference between FC2 and FC1 is called bandwidth It is FC2 minus FC1 and F0 is the center frequency the simplest bandpass filter is just RLC. We use inductor, capacitor and resistor. And in this example, it is a passive filter and the gain, the maximum gain is high. At the cutoff frequency, like here, uh, the gain is reduced by 30%. So, a combination of a high pass followed by a low pass will give you a band pass filter this is the frequency response and for a first order band pass filter we can construct the circuit by using a high pass filter right here okay r tied to the ground is just a high pass followed by a low pass right here see tied to the ground and this is a first order because we only have one pair of high pass filter and another pair of RC for the low pass filter so we get a band pass by combining a high pass filter followed by a low pass filter or we can change we start with the low pass first then followed by the high pass so we still get a band pass filter and the frequency response of the filter just now uh, we have a positive uh, slope right here 20 dB per decade or 6 dB per octave and for the other end it is at minus 20 dB per decade or minus 6 dB per octave okay uh, this one is for the low pass this is for the high pass and for a second order band pass filter again similar method can be done meaning that we combine second order low pass followed by second order high pass filter since both are second order so we have a second order band pass filter and for the second order band pass filter the frequency res response will of course double so you'll get a positive 40 db per decade and minus six, uh, 40 db also at the high part uh, sorry at the high frequency which is for the low pass the bandwidth, the difference between high cutoff and the low, low cutoff, and this is the center frequency. Okay. As for the phase shift, uh, there is no phase shift at the pass band, but at a very low frequency, the difference between VO and V in, the phase shift is 90 degree positive, and at the higher frequency, it is at minus 90 degree. There is a phase shift between VO and V in. Uh, again, we can change. We can start with the high pass, second order high pass first, followed by the second order low pass filter in order to get a second order band pass filter. Okay, we have a pair, another pair. So two pairs of RC, another two for the low pass filter. So this is the uh, frequency response. If you look here, this is for the low pass and this is for the high pass response. Okay. The slope is minus 40 dB per decade but because this is a second order and this one should be plus 40 dB per decade which is for the high pass response. And if you want to find the cutoff frequency for the low cutoff, okay, this is from the uh, right here high pass filter will give a low cut off we use resistor R4, R3, C3, C4 high pass uh, which will give the low pass FL and for the low pass will give you a high pass cut off which is R2, R1, C1, C2 so this is the equation low pass from the high pass filter uh, high cut off from the low low pass filter
okay and since we are using different value for r3 r4 c3 c4 so it is a square root of all those if r3 and r4 equal c3 and c4 equal it will be simply 1 over 2 pi rc and similarly for the high cutoff and for the center frequency at the center over here it is a square root of the high cutoff multiply with the low cutoff or fc1 multiply with fc2 okay the center frequency is the geometric mean or the average of the cutoff frequency actually okay that's the equation and when we talk about the uh, bandpass filter usually we'll talk about a quality factor that is the ratio of filter center frequency f not or fc to the filter bandwidth the equation will be q is equal to f not which is the center frequency divided by the bandwidth center frequency is this equation bandwidth will be high cut off minus the low cut off frequency the higher the value of q for a tuned circuit the narrower the bandwidth and better selective selectivity at a given center so sometimes q is called a selectivity factor okay so if you look uh, for this frequency response this is called the narrow bandwidth high q okay this one is the wide band low q so when you have a filter and if you uh, read the q factor of that particular bandwidth the q is high meaning that it has a narrow bandwidth okay and if the q is low it is it has a wide bandwidth okay so just now what i have talked is it just a combination of uh, first order and second order filter okay we combine those uh, either uh, first order or second order and this is uh, a combination of integrator and differentiator and integrator is a low pass filter and differentiator is a high pass filter so a combination of this will give you a band pass filter okay if you remember um, when we talk about the low pass and high pass it's just uh, for the low pass filter uh, integrator integrator you'll see over here c1 r1 and r2 and for the differentiator we only have a c2 r2 and r1 but now we combine all together all this and it will give a band pass filter okay uh, the circuit will attenuate at low frequency and high frequency but will pass intermediate frequency between uh, high cut off and low cut off meaning that um, if this is a short circuit and this is open circuit you left with only r1 and r2 and this is to the inverting terminal of your op amp so the gain will be minus r1 over r2 this that's the gain the maximum gain okay um how to get the transfer function for this particular circuit transfer function is the uh, equation that describes the behavior of the circuit okay does it really represent a band pass filter okay how to get that okay so we start with uh, the Kirchhoff current law the current over here is my current i2 over here and i2 is going to this node current to the inverting terminal is zero so we just neglect this and this particular current will equals to r1 the resistor over here so flowing from here goes to r1 and also to the capacitor c1 over here so i have at this particular node my i2 equals to ir1 plus ic1 and apply the ohm's law my i2 is flowing from this node to this node so it will be vi minus zero this is zero because v minus equals to v plus and v plus is connected to the ground okay so for this particular i2 vi minus zero which is here vi minus zero divide by we have a resistor r2 over here and the capacitor c2 again remember for the capacitor we have to use the impedance 
So it will be R2 plus 1 over J omega C2 and it will equals to IR1. IR1 is simpler because it's just this dot which is 0 minus VR over here. 0 minus VO divided by the resistance R1. Simply R. Okay. And for the IC1, it will be from this to this. So similarly, it is 0 because it is grounded over here minus VO because it is flowing from this to this. Okay. And since this is a capacitor, it will be divided by 1 over J omega C1. Okay. So, simplifying this equation, okay, there will be several steps before you arrive at this particular equation. Okay. So, the transfer function VO over VI will be 1 over 1 over R1 plus J omega C1. And for the the other part is 1 over R2 plus 1 over J omega C2. This is for the low pass. If you compare to the previous node, and this is uh, the equation for the high pass. So, a combination of low pass and high pass will give you a pan pass filter. Uh, there is a negative uh, sign over here because uh, the input is to the inverting terminal. The highest gain will be minus R1 over R2 when all the capacitance is ignored. Okay. And another type of a bandpass filter, we can get a bandpass filter using what is called a multiple feedback. Multiple feedback because you have a V out over here and we have two paths here and another path here. So that's why it is called multiple feedback. Two paths for the feedback. Okay. Uh, a multiple feedback will give you a very low Q. Okay. Your R1, R3 from the input r1 r2 r3 and the transfer function for the circuit is this uh, i will left this as an exercise for you uh, to verify how to get this particular uh, transfer function for this circuit okay and the center frequency for the multiple feedback f0 will be uh, r1 over rt divided by c1 c2 R1, R2, R3. Uh, actually, you can get this from the transfer function just now. Okay. Uh, this is uh, another representation of the uh, center frequency. Okay. But usually, we'll choose that the two capacitor having the same value. So, this is uh, the uh, center frequency for the multiple feedback. Okay, the gain will be R2 over 2 R1. Okay, another pen pass filter can be constructed using a state variable circuit. A state variable circuit is just a combination of summing amplifier, integrator and another integrator. So you have a output, a low pass output, this is integrator. And this is another integrator, you have the output that we want, the band pass. Uh, for the summing, it is a high pass filter. So, it is a combination of several circuit, which is called state variable. Okay. And state variable filter is suited for a high Q band pass design. Okay. Uh, it has a low pass, and this is the low pass and high pass filter. So you have three in one. Okay, the Q factor for the state variable is this. Okay, and this is the center frequency for the state variable circuit. And another is a biquad filter. Biquad, we use a integrator and another integrator, and this is the inverting amplifier. And this is low pass, and we want to have a band pass over here. Okay, uh, this one you only have two in one low pass and pen pass for the bi quad. Okay.